everybody. So continuing from that example, I've been leaving the algebra for you to solve, so it might be boring, but just in case if you want to watch me solve algebra, then I'll do some, but then you can always skip this. So continuing here, we had five equations for five unknowns. So this is actually I2, right? We actually, I2 and I3 are the same for the resistor 2 and resistor 3. Two. Okay, so we have these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equations. So how do we solve 5 equations for 5 unknowns? So it looks like each of these have 2 unknowns. This one has 2 unknowns. This one has 3 unknowns. So since that has the most, I'm going to substitute things into that one. So I'm going to substitute um, 1, 2, and 3 into 5. Okay, so minus V1, V1 is I1, R1, plus V2, which is I2, R2, minus V3, which is negative I2, R2. Three. Okay. Uh, let's simplify this a little bit. So we got I1, uh, I2, I2, we can factor. Okay, so we got this equation. And then now let's combine that with equation 4. Okay, so from, give me some space here, from equation 4, let's substitute, let's say I1 equals, that's this one right here, right? 1.5 minus I2. I just rewrote it. I just move these on the other side. But then now we can take this and substitute it right there. So if I write that out, I minus I1 R1 plus I2 right so now there's only one unknown so let's factor I2 so we got I2 and then we have so the minus comes in here so that becomes negative and this becomes positive so one and then over here and over here and then the minus r1 minus 1.5 r1 I'll put on the other side of the equation okay and then just take all this and move it in the denominator so then we have I2 is okay so we got I2 and then you just plug it right back in here so then you have I1 minus we can simplify this a little bit we can factor out 1.5 this amps right and then we got 1 minus that. Okay. Which, uh, I mean, you can just leave it like that, but if you wanted to, you could factor a little bit more. For example, R1 plus R2 plus R3, right? Oh, maybe not do it too quickly, right? That's 1 minus. So notice how right, the numerator turns into R2 plus R3. Okay, so we got I2, I1, we got both currents, 
and then you just plug those into here. And then you get V1, and then V2, and V3. And then we got all five unknowns. Okay, hope that helped a little bit. See you on the next video.